Runcorn has been a centre of the electrochemical industry since that industry first started, and expertise has grown up around here for well over 100 years. So this part of Cheshire, because of the heritage with the chemical industry, the economy has really been based around the chemical industries for very many years. ICI, INEOS and other organisations around this area are based upon chemicals. And so I think the local population, the local people, have a, a pride in that as the UK's chemical industry centre. What makes the site unique is that we are, are ideally situated uh, both logistically and geographically uh, close to the brine fields, which provides the essential raw material, uh, the electrical infrastructure to produce the chlorine that we make. And that chlorine is used to purify water. 98% of the water in the UK is purified using chemicals from Runcorn. Chloracolite is at the absolute heart of that manufacturing process. INEOS has got a range of different businesses here. There's Innovin and there's also INEOS Electrical Chemical Solutions, which is a sister business. They manufacture the technology that we use in our manufacturing process. The electrochemical industry is very important because it's really the, the heart of chemical technology, in particular the chloralkali industry, uh, where we sell many of our products. IES produce electrochemical solutions for clients all over the world. We develop electrochemistry on an industrial scale and then manufacture machines, electrolyzers, which are the machines that carry out the electrochemistry in the large factories, and also especially the coatings that goes onto those machines. Coatings go on the electrodes uh, inside the electrolyzer uh, and the function of the coating is to make sure the electrochemical reactions are done as efficiently as possible and the power consumption of the electrolyzer is as low as possible. In a chloralkali electrolyzer, which is the mainstay of our industry at the moment, we pass electrical current through sodium chloride brine, which forms chlorine, caustic soda and hydrogen. At the moment, with chloralkali, uh, the hydrogen which comes out is a byproduct, and traditionally in the industry, it is either the chlorine or the caustic soda, or both, that industry requires. The production of hydrogen is something we're familiar with, the storage, the transportation. These are all areas of expertise that we have within our business and have had for many, many years. So we make several thousand tonnes of hydrogen per year. Primarily we'll use it as a fuel in our own boiler plant. We've been burning hydrogen as a fuel for many years, very conscious of the positive impact that has. But we also have other uses where we will supply to customers downstream by pipeline, primarily for the use of hydrogen peroxide. But we also compress hydrogen up to about 250 bar for distribution throughout the UK for a variety of applications. The same skill sets uh, that we have to produce electrolyzers and elect electrochemical solutions for chloralkali, for example, are exactly those that need to be used uh, uh, for the development of hydrogen technology. Uh, and so what we have in terms of the machines only need a very small amount of change to be able to use for hydrogen technology, but especially the expertise that we have in developing technology is the same expertise to develop, to develop hydrogen. Having IES alongside us here at Runcon is just amazing and that relationship is really close. We can work together on developments, on testing out new innovations. So at the moment this site is a chloralkali site and um, produces uh, hydrogen as a byproduct. What's particularly exciting going forward for the future is uh, having what we call first intent hydrogen. So we will have chemical plants here uh, using an electrochemical technology that make hydrogen specifically for hydrogen production. And the uses of that into the economy going forward is really the basis of the future of the site. I think we're at an exciting point in the history of Runcorn. We are looking forward to how hydrogen can transform us here for the future. And being able to manufacture hydrogen here really puts Runcorn on the map, not just in the UK, not just in Europe, but also across the world. It's a neat symmetry now, that as we go into the 21st century, that we see hydrogen taking more and more a role in cleaning up the environment. We still provide caustic soda for the soap industry, by the way. 
Ron Con has been for over 120 years a cornerstone of the UK economy and it will continue to be so going forward.